guys. This is Simon Sage from Instant Mobile. We're looking at Butyl at the uh, Mobile World Congress 2010. It's a really interesting augmented reality facial recognition app that uh, is coming to uh, OEM soon. To help uh, demo it, we've got Jason. How you doing, Jason? Hello. So uh, let's take a look at the app here. So what we have is a visual analysis app that's running completely on OMAP. So it's not going up to the server. Everything's happening 100% on the device. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And what we're going to see here is that it's after Laurent gets food. It's going, to, it's going to find Laurent and then recognize him. So you can see the little dot there. It's going through the visual analysis. And you can see magic. And then we can see Laurent's name. And so it's actually recognizing him. So we've taught the phone to see Laurent. So why this is important is that we can start associating his name with either his mobile phone number, his email address, or his Facebook username and ID. And what you can do with that is build it into a camera application such that when you take pictures, it'll automatically get uploaded to the social network tagged and then look at the update. Wicked. So like within the app, we, we, we have links to Facebook and LinkedIn and all that, right? Yeah. So what you can do is, that is, is as you're holding it up to... Uh, so Laurent, I recognize him. So we can actually go through here, um, and we, it, depending on the connectivity here, sometimes it works. So it's yeah. going to try to go to LinkedIn, um, and we're not able to pull those. Let's see if we can pull something else down. Um, so it'll pull down the update, and then it writes it right next to the face. So it's kind of like in the uh, in the video, right? right in the demo video here, where you can see like people's status updates. Yeah, you can see the name, and then it's pulling the status updates. Right, cool. Uh, so th th this will eventually be, be hard, like uh, hardware optimized, right? Yep. Through so if you look at on this device here, this is the OMAP 4430. Um, where it's hardware optimized. It uses a DSP here to find the faces. It makes it about 50% faster and offloads about 70% uh, of the CPU load. Um, so we think this is kind of the deployment of the future. When we have the DSP to offload, we can do lots of other things uh, in addition, kind of like, you know, do the full 3D augmentation because we have the room left on the processor. Excellent. So, I mean, people watching this will want to know when can they get this on their phone? It was, uh, how long is that going to take? So right now we have an SDK that's available for developers. Like they can go out there and build their own applications. We're working with a number of handset manufacturers, and you should look for late this year, early next year for deployments. Excellent. Very cool. Thanks a lot, Jason. Thank you.